On Palm Sunday, Jesus Christ made his triumphal entry into Jerusalem as his followers waved palm fronds and laid down cloaks in his path. They surrounded Jesus with love and praise, shouting Hosanna, a phrase meaning, please save us. During Jesus' time in Jerusalem, he visited the temple. There inside his father's holy house, Jesus saw various merchants doing business. Jesus was appalled to see the sacred place of worship being desecrated and turned into a den of thieves. Make not my father's house an house of merchandise. Jesus observed the sacred holiday of Passover with his apostles. He instituted the sacred ordinance of the sacrament in which his disciples were invited to eat and drink in remembrance of him. He taught them of the comforting power of the Holy Ghost, and knowing that his time with them would soon end, he commanded them to love one another as he had loved them. After a series of one-sided trials, Jesus Christ was sentenced to death by crucifixion. Roman soldiers mocked and scourged him and nailed him to the cross, but instead of condemning them, Jesus Christ asked his Father to forgive them. For they know not of what they do, even in his darkest moment, Jesus spoke of love and redemption. His dying breath, Jesus addressed his Father, it is finished, he said. An unlikely testimony came from a Roman centurion and those who were with him. Truly, this was the Son of God. The realization is just as awe-inspiring today as was then. Jesus Christ was a master teacher. He never let an opportunity to share eternal truth go to waste. His words weren't only intended for the people present at the time. His teachings throughout his entire ministry can bless our lives too. May we tie a string around your wrist as a remembrance of the joy and love that Jesus Christ brings into your life. Thank you for coming tonight. We have a card for you to take home in the following week. You can reflect on your witness and testimony of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm.